let's begin with a word of prayer. Father in heaven, we invite you to be with us in this class. We ask for the help of your Holy Spirit to understand your word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Last time we discussed whether baptism is necessary if we want to go to heaven. Manamoti, is baptism needed to go to heaven? Baptism is needed to go to heaven. According to the Bible. Bible and Onojai, Charge Jarjun, Baptist movie Persian. Uzuru, why? Mm -hmm. What happens when we get baptized that makes it different? How does that help us to change our minds? Is there something magical about the water? No. Then what happens? What did we talk about yesterday? Specifically, ah, did that? It is an outward sign, inward change. Yes, and who brings that? Yes, exactly. And who brings that inward change? The Holy Spirit. Yes. And when we get baptized, what happens? Just like Jesus when he was baptized, the Holy Spirit came upon him. When we accept baptism, we are showing trust, faith in God. And God in return gives power, even more power. To overcome sin. To do his work. And amazing things will happen. So baptism and the Holy Spirit go together. Now, we started talking about number two, which says, when is someone ready to get baptized? How do you know that someone's ready for baptism or not? Some of you will be pastors, elders. Now, uh, this is for both the men and the women because you all should know, but especially the men should know. Because when you become elders or pastors and you are ordained, that means set apart for the ministry. Then you basically have a certification or you are allowed then to baptize people. That's a big responsibility. And it's your responsibility to know who's ready for baptism and who's not. You have to make a distinction. Yeah. 
Ten seconds. Uh, Lisa, can you stop for her for just a second? Many pastors and elders do not understand what it means for someone to be ready for baptism. And it's because, it's not because of bad motivation all the time. It's because lack of knowledge, lack of study, and that's why we need to study this topic. Okay, so how do we know someone is ready to be baptized? I'll tell you the story first, then we'll get into the Bible text. The year was, I think, 2018. Maybe earlier. And I was at a Pathfinder event. It was a camping event that happened every year. And at this camp, there were a series of meetings every night. Every night? Mm -hmm. And at one of the meetings, uh, an appeal was made for baptism. And praise the Lord, people responded. One of my very close friends also responded. Saying, I want to be baptized. And he took time to study. He took time to understand what am I doing. He realized that baptism is a big decision. It's like marriage. You're not just deciding for a year or two to be with somebody. You're deciding to be with someone for a lifetime. Yes, for a lifetime. So, to me, I'm not sure that 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 I'm not sure it's even more than a lifetime though. It's eternity. You're deciding for more than a hundred years, more than a thousand years, someone that you're going to spend your life with. Deciding for Jesus is a big thing. And my friend understood that. And he studied it slowly. He called his parents. He said, Mom, Dad, I want to get baptized. You should come down. Come down and see my baptism. And they came. And it was wonderful. We went down to the lake. Beautiful Sabbath afternoon. And my friend was baptized. It was a real baptism. I believe he was ready. I could see evidence of repentance and his mind was being changed. He was surrendering his life to God. He wasn't doing it because it was popular or because his friends were doing it. It was his own choice. But then something else happened. The pastor that was there baptizing, he made an appeal right there in the water. He said, if anyone else here is ready for baptism, if anyone else here wants to get baptized, the water is nice. It's a beautiful day. If the Holy Spirit is moving, 
What is stopping you from getting baptized? A young man came forward. A young lady came forward. And another and another came forward. And people were saying, whoa, what's happening? This is so cool. And the line got longer and longer. Soon there were over 20 young people lined up, going to get baptized. Some people were celebrating. They were singing songs. It was a time of rejoicing. I was really happy because my friend had been baptized. But I was concerned for the others. Why was I concerned? Because I don't think they were ready. What would you do? If you were a pastor, a missionary, a pastor's wife, a teacher, these are positions God may call you to where you have a responsibility to speak. Let's go to Banamoti's verse that she read for us during worship this morning in 1 Timothy. And we'll read that verse 12. Because even those who are young have a responsibility to speak. But especially to be an example. It says, let no one despise your youth, but be an example to the believers in word, in conduct, in love. In spirit and faith and purity. I mean, you finished it, I think. That's good. Um, that means that we have a responsibility to be an example by what we speak, an example in how we live and how we love. Now, this uh, letter was written to Timothy. He wasn't just a young lad. He was in his 20s or 30s. So, when you graduate from Be Well, you'll still be a youth, a young person, but you have a duty. That duty from God is to speak the truth. So, do you understand the situation that we were in at that youth camp? <coughs> so there were there were about twenty young people that had lined up for baptism. I was getting uncomfortable. I wasn't the only one getting uncomfortable. I thought that someone should say something. I didn't know what to say because I hadn't studied this. But now that I have, I would have a responsibility to say something. What would you say in this situation? I'll give you 30 seconds as each table to discuss what you would say, and then I'll call in one person to tell. Uh, I'm going to pick the men to be the discussion. 
So Jonash and Tongsong will be the ones who will share, but you all must discuss. Jonash and Tongsong share, but we can do it. Share. discuss. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Okay, time is finished. Let's hear what you have to say. Why don't you come in front so the so the people on YouTube can see? It will help if you have some Bible verses. If not, then just tell what you would do. Okay, what did your group discuss? Yeah, they should have um, talked or discussed before the baptism. Mm -hmm. Because this is not about one day, even it's like for whole life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In, in in that situation, with all those all those people coming up, what what would you say just then? Pastor Learn more about it. Don't take a rush, rush decision. Okay. Anything else? Miss no. I say. What would your group do in my situation? Oh, you have group keep up. So I situation is I am not Jishur Mota Botam. Johan Horishira Johan Jishur Sampokish in the Kotisulo. Jishuk into Blue Kainai. Said direct Tadir Tadak Dosi Kurichilo. Case a Tadar Katskesh Dosi Kosilo. A one Oyo Bosta Jude Amitakam Tale Amin Tadaka Posno Kotam. The Taraki Shuti Postu Dia Taragese Naki Tara Udipona Bosegese. So they would have asked questions like. Like Jesus, how he he questioned the 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 teachers that time when they were teaching the whole thing. He would have asked like, "Are you guys going to take baptism because you guys are ready, or you are just going because you are excited about it?" So after I mean, I would just ask them, "Je baptism means that I keep baptism means that I keep doing, but baptism means what?" And I would have asked them question that, "What is baptism to you?" Or I did the shooting with Parto, our Tade Chinta Satan Voltam, the Apna Chinta Satan Nijer Kitinta, when Apnaki Pustu, the Amaratajani Baptist one now Manoch and Nijer Jibun Kishu Kishu of Reda. And I would have asked, after listening to their answer, I would have asked them that, Are you, do you really think that you are ready for your baptism? What do you think? Baptism Mane, Najami Baptism Nilam, our Goreja Bushataklam. Did you want to? I mean, but for Joko, the Jacket, she says, Of which you call them. 
baptism. A baptism isn't like this that I take baptism and then I go home and I keep on doing whatever things I was doing or anything. Baptism is not like this. If you have a child, you have a child, and 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 you have a child. Baptism is like giving my life to Christ and leaving my old life to God to change. And and using my life for God. So, Tatar ke ek kotha tai jiga sab patam. Je apni ke posto Ishwar ke jono nijer jibon ke mane sopya dawa abam porobuti jibon ei Ishwar ke kaje nijer ke bhavar pora. So, I would have asked that, that. So, are you okay? Are you all ready to live your old life and give your life to Christ and live for Him only from now on? Onward? Don't know what. These are really good answers. I like the fans. Let's turn it on, but low power, low power. Okay, great answers, everyone. What do you say? We look at what the Bible has to say. Your answers are correct. And the Bible goes along with it very well. Let's turn to an example of this in Luke. Luke chapter 3. Now in another gospel, uh, maybe we should maybe we should go to the other one first. Matthew 3 then. Just so you understand the context. John the Baptist was baptizing. And he was baptizing people from all over the place. Jerusalem, Judea. Matthew chapter 3 verse 5 says, Then Jerusalem, all Judea, and all the region around the Jordan went out to him. Verse 6. And were baptized by him in the Jordan, confessing their sins. It was a time of celebration. It, it was wonderful. Many people were getting baptized, and what were they doing? While they were getting baptized. Yeah. Confessing their sins. Saying, I put this away. I put the um, coveting things away. My habits of stealing. Habits of selfishness. Disrespect of my mother and father. Taking God's name in vain. All these things they were putting away. And it was a very popular thing just then to get baptized by John the Baptist. And so there was another group of people. I think this is the story John Ash was talking about. The Pharisees and Sadducees. And they came to John the Baptist. And what did John say to them? Verse 7. What did John the Baptist say? Okay. 
issue? Uh, who, who told you that the end of time is coming and you need to get baptized and get ready? Why did you say that? I think it's because they weren't getting baptized because they believed the word of God. They weren't getting baptized because they believed the word of God. They were getting baptized for another reason. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So these, these leaders, they came for baptism? Mm-hmm. Okay. So John was telling them. Yeah. Yeah. Why were they coming? Because it was popular. They thought, if we get baptized, we're going to have influence with the people. It was from Satan. That's why John the Baptist called them a brood of vipers. How do snakes work? They're very sneaky. They're quiet, you can't hear them coming. I remember when that snake came in the river over there and Kemi was like, She didn't hear it coming. She only saw it. She only saw it. Oh, so sneaky. Snakes are sneaky, right? You don't see them coming. I really want you to understand this. This practice of baptizing people before they're ready is a method of Satan to bring his people into the church. Yes. So, uh, then why do they call for people for baptism in revival meetings? Now, it's a good thing to call for baptism. But they give baptism the, the very. Suppose the revival meeting is for only three days or four days, they keep on calling, okay, who are ready for baptism? Please come. Jesus is coming soon. Please come. And then all the young people and those of them will go, and the teachers will also encourage them to go. Mm-hmm. They go and then they stand, and then the end of the revival meeting, they get baptism. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, Shabbat. ask the question. Great question. Talking about, talking about but in Kerimus, I didn't want to stand. But they say, but Uncle say, he confirmed that I don't have to get baptism. I don't, I don't have to take baptism there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask your question so everyone can understand. Then, if you want to say more, you can say more. Uttipana Shabar Vitore, Amade Seven Adventists Vitore, on a jagger. Uttipana Shabar Vitore, a jagger, as a Kumajara Baptist Major of Hosu, the Chakarashu, Shushikra, the Kumara Baptist, Aswasu, Elmo Hosilo, Ivian Hosilo, Vina Gisilo, Pir Gisilo, Baptist Mode. That for a Baptist Mode, Namajuna Dake, Tin Dinet, Proton Din, Duidin Dake, Tin Dinet Din. <laughs> okay, anything else you wanted to add before I answer?
very in few places they, yeah in that's what I'm saying okay. in few in few places they actually take a name and then they keep it reserved so that they know like who wants to take that to study but in mostly other places it happens like that and it has become a huge promotion especially for the you know um, one thousand missionary movement yes. Uh, they see the missionaries and they're like, okay, who tell me who got uh, how many baptisms? And after it's one year, after one year they come along and then they say like, oh, I got like fifty baptisms, hundred baptisms. Do those missionaries do they baptize people? They don't even know about that. Do the do the missionaries baptize or the local pastors baptize? They, that's the pastors. local pastors do. Okay. Under their guidance. This is in Bangladesh. Yeah, I've heard of this. Okay, so we're dealing with different issues here. Uh, let's pray again. We need God's wisdom to understand these things. Your Father in Heaven, we ask again that you be with us in our class. Please help me to teach and make these things clear from your word. Okay. How do you know someone is ready for baptism or not? Matthew chapter 3 and verse 7. We just read that verse. John the Baptist is saying to the Sadducees and the Pharisees, You're a brood of vipers. Verse 8. What are fruits of repentance? Can anyone give me some examples? Okay, Melissa first. Okay, change of lifestyle. Can you give me more specific? Maybe, maybe they used to curse. Okay, a change of their language. Yeah, stopping cursing. This is a good, good, good fruit of repentance. Um, I said, I said, I <laughs> okay, Dida? Smoking, chewing, pan, a shop, Karabo bus tackle, Shaguli tech for the hobby. Yes, yes. They should put on Shari, Rosaro, Bapaster, put on Shari, Jibon Jabu for the way, later Jahunta, Monet Bitre. Shidanto nae, Tahun She Baptist Verdono Agan Pari. Arakum Bolbo, Tahun Revival Meeting Hoy, excuse me. Revival Meeting Hoy, Tahun Oje Alban Pari. Appeal Kore, who wants to be baptized. Tahun Ori Kedai, Karuki, Pastor Agitiki Shika then, Chapter Elder and sorry, many adults and young Shab Dorone Lukra Shune, Rutan. Ebong school e chale mera thake in the hostel. They have also baptism class every week. So they are prepared many way. So when they hear the lecture, lecture sermon, and they think that I I need to be baptized. I need to be baptized. In my case, mm -hmm. uh, shall I take time? You may. Okay. Ami to kono school yeh jai nai. Kintu ami golf shune chhi. Bible or golf, Bible or take it. Tar pore shoni bar din Jesus be Islam person. Amader o bolsen parat eight years shune. Amai ta kon Baptist theke ami Adventist hobo. Very young. I'll I'll just start start study in the school. Then I am I was put in the boarding school. Very miraculously. Amen. And. When the baptism time came, uh, sorry, I'm English. What is it? Is it a shame? Then I thought. Then baptism is a shame. I should not be baptized. 
আমি বলছি আমিও নেব এখন আমার নাম লিখে আবার বলছে না নিতে পারবে না তুমি ভেরি মানে ছোট খুব ছোট তখন আমি অনেক কান্না করছি যে আমি নেব আমি বাপতিস নেব আমি যিশুকে জানি তারপরে তারা আমার নাম আবার রাখছে রাখতে চেষ্টা করি যে আমি এই জন্য come forward and put their name there if they wanted to and they said we will meeting at Axel Oki Pono Shobha at Axel and they meet Axel or no it was a class no, boarding school oh class, 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 class. school she put her name there and they said no you're too young how old were you? maybe seven seven no, years old more than seven more okay very young very young yeah But, I'll start from uh, standard one mm-hmm. but somehow uh, I was put in class three at standard and so still I could cope up what how old were you when you were baptized? কারণ দিদা যে অবস্থায় ছিল এটা অনেক সাধারণ কারণ অনেক বাচ্চারা আছে তারা বাপতিস নিতে চায় Let's look at Luke 3 this time. Fruits of repentance. Okay. Luke 3. 3. Atpur. It's the same exact story, but this is Luke's perspective. Okay. Uh, let's start with Melissa. ঈশ্বর এই সকল পাথর হইতে অব্রাহমের জন্য সন্তান উৎপন্ন করিতে পারে যে কোন গাছে উত্তম ফল ধরে ধরে না তাহা কাটিয়া অগ্নিতে ফেলিয়া দেওয়া যায় আচ্ছা দশপ জিরো তখন লোকেরা জমিকে জিজ্ঞাসা করিল তা হলে আমরা কি করব এগো তিনি উত্তর করিয়া তাহা দিকে কহিল যাহার দুই কি আম আম রাখা আছে এবং তাহাকে কহিল গুরু আমাদের কি করিতে হইবে তিনি তাদের বললেন আইনে যা আছে তার বেশি repenting If people are showing a change in their life, then it's not our job to say, okay, maybe you're ready, maybe you're not, because I'm going to try to read your mind. In other words, it's not our job to try to read their mind. It's not the job of the pastor or the elder to judge someone's motivation. Motivation. 
But it is your job as the pastor to sit down, talk with the person. Ask them, do you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Do you realize that by accepting baptism, you are pledging your life to God? You understand the sacrifice that it will take to keep the Sabbath. Do you realize that God is asking you to give 10% of all your money that you'll make in your whole life to Him? Do you realize that if God calls you to a far country where it's dangerous, that you have to go because you committed your life to Him? In other words, you're really talking with them to find out, are they in this forever? What I learned from the Bible is it doesn't matter how young or how old you are. What matters is your ability to understand. That long line of young people. I believe some of them were really ready. But I know for a fact that over 50, over 60 percent of them were not ready at all. Because they had no desire to change their lives. And even if they did, they didn't understand what God was requiring of them. So how do you know if someone's ready for baptism? If they're willing to give everything for God. If they're really sincere. And you can see fruits of repentance. There are other things that we can talk about that show fruits of repentance. I want to talk about some more, a few more examples tomorrow. Let me ask a few important questions. Based on what we've just discussed, can a young person get baptized? Yes or no? Yes. Definitely, absolutely, no question. Yes, if it's their own decision, right? If it's their own decision, if their desire is unbreakable. Yes. And if they abide by it. Uh, now our age is like while we are walking, we might change our heart. So while we were walking, if we change our heart, it is not going to be good. It's true. And According to me, I think that whenever I feel like I'm ready to work for God, then I should. Then if we see Jesus at 
at the age of 12, he was talking with the Pharisee and everyone. Mm -hmm. If he wanted, he could have taken baptism that time, but he waited that long mm -hmm. because he was preparing himself for his mission. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's also true. I don't think that. That's also true. I don't think that. Now, <clears throat> Yes, please. After the Pastor Bangladesh, so 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 it's true, John Ash, that Jesus was about 30 years old when he was baptized. He is our example. But that doesn't mean we have to wait until we're exactly 30 years old to get baptized. He knew the prophecy of Daniel chapter 9. Now, did, that, did Jesus have to be baptized to go to heaven? Did he sin? No. He didn't have anything to renounce. No repentance needed. He wasn't just getting baptized for himself. He was also getting baptized to fulfill a prophecy. And as our example. Now the question of baptizing children is difficult. As a pastor, we have received counsel that for children that want to be baptized, very serious discussion should be had with their parents about whether the parents are ready to help guide that young person. Also, John Ash, um, getting baptized and being very sincere is good. And there's always a chance that you're going to fall away from the truth. And you'll just completely leave God. That's possible. It happens even with people who are baptized very sincerely. I know that because it happened to me. I was 12 years old when I was baptized. I was very sincere. I had studied all 27 study guides. I was ready to pay my tithe. Keep the Sabbath. Have my devotions. And I even wanted to be a missionary. And praise the Lord, here I am. But three or four years later, I really got away from God. I was very rebellious. And thankfully that time did not last very long. But after that time, I was rebaptized. It's not that I wasn't ready before. It's that when you get baptized, the devil comes in like a flood. And sometimes, 
Too often, I think, young people are led astray in their teen years. That happened to me, even though my parents tried their best. But praise the Lord for rebaptism. We will talk about rebaptism tomorrow. Do this question last. There is urgency to baptism. If someone wants to take baptism and wants to take it quickly, this is possible. You can study with someone through the Bible, through the truths for God's last day people, the Seventh-day Adventist truths, Pray with the person. God will give wisdom. One time, Ellen White was uh, writing about an old man. And he got what's called an emergency baptism. He, something happened that he didn't make a decision earlier. And he was injured. I'm not sure what happened exactly, but he wanted baptism quickly. And so the elders studied with him. They prayed with him, and he was very earnest, very serious. He did think he was going to die. They decided he was ready. They carried him to a pool. And he was baptized there. It's a very good decision. I'm very glad that story is there. We have jobs as missionaries. One of them is to watch for souls. And in situations like that one, we need to really be listening to the Holy Spirit. Take a lot of time with the person. A few hours if needed. To know if they're ready. God will give wisdom. Even for very quick baptisms. Does that answer clear? Okay, have you learned something in today's class? Mm. Okay, we started about five minutes late, that's why we ended a little late. Father in heaven, we thank you for your word. We thank you for baptism. We pray that you would give us wisdom to understand. And also wisdom to know when is our time. For we know that not everyone here has been baptized. Please grant special wisdom. For us at Be well. Be well. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.